over 117 years now, the Salvation Army has been actively involved in emergency disaster services. But by far, this hurricane has been the worst that the Salvation Army has ever had to cope with. So we've now moved, as we said yesterday, to this downtown location to coordinate all of the recovery process. And today, we have a very special visitor. The international leader of the Salvation Army, General Andre Cox, is coming to visit and wants to be on the ground to see exactly what's happening and how his troops are being immobilised. And I invite you to come along for the ride. wanting to work as a team and really that is what what it's about you know we talk about our mission which is preaching the gospel and meeting human need in Jesus name in these sort of instances we're preaching but not so much in words but by what we're yes. doing and I think it's a great opportunity people's lives have been turned upside down and they need prayer support they need to know that uh, people are behind them praying for support but also that perhaps others would consider uh, volunteering and coming and helping and supporting this isn't a sprint race it's a marathon i'm grateful for salvationists who are mobilizing who are working in incredibly long hours and we want to be here not just uh, distributing meals for a couple of weeks and then moving on but to be here to walk alongside people and to support them uh, in a journey that will likely take years. So a lot of the program um, offices and the social services have been a place where they can actually be embraced in a way. And, they, and then the emotions just pour out. So in that in itself, expressing emotion like that is really, really important. Um, I came, I didn't see how I looked out here after all the storms and things was going yeah. on. I'm glad to see really my people striving and doing, you know, keep going. And I just made my way down here just to check on them. And he asked me to volunteer and I just put my heart into it and just came in. I didn't even know y'all was going to come surprise <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. You prepared for this. I, I, I don't do cameras like that unless it's my selfie, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody knows me. Well, today it looks a lot better. I've seen some pictures of what it looked like. I mean, it's, it was just a lake. I was talking to one of the ladies and they've, of course, never seen anything like it. I mean, the water was up to the level of, of the houses and one had the kitchen completely flooded. Uh, one lady with three small kids, they lost everything. So it's not just about coming and dishing out things. It's how do we walk with them and how do we help them to find the energy, the resources to, to recover. Salvationists have experienced what these people have experienced, but it's great to see them out on the streets and trying to help another community and not thinking about themselves. How many meals will you serve a day from here? We did, we did uh, 900 yesterday in the same spot yesterday. Okay. This really brings home the reality of well, not only the scale, but the impact uh, in real human terms. And uh, so I'm glad to see the operations of the army, glad to see the commitment of our people, and uh, we're in it for the long run. Well, I think that's what people want to hear, General, that this isn't a one-off. We're in it for the long run. But of course, when we're in things like this for the long run, the Salvation Army still need your support. So I would invite you to text STORM to 51555 or helpsalvationarmy.org and give whatever you feel that you will be able to, to help us in the long run. With the leader of the International Salvation Army, General Andre Cox, and me, Gavin Schofield-Smith, here in still a very hurting Houston, Texas. Mm -hmm.